Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to your very first webinar for the term, your IDS 105 webinar. Want to make sure you guys can hear me OK. Um, I am Melanie Shop, and I am your IDS 105 gal. I will be with you guys tonight, um, really just going through all of the top 10 tips for your success here at the university, what to expect in your class and just all that kind of fun stuff. So a couple of housekeeping items is when I get here started talking and going through everything, I will not be able to see the chat. So if you have really specific questions um, on anything, please hold it until we get I get through the content because that way I can make sure I get everybody's questions answered. As I go through tonight, I'll really share and answer most of the questions that y'all might have, but please feel free, you know, as I'm going, you know, if you didn't get a chance yet, introduce yourself in the chat, say hello, let us know that you're here, let us know your major, let us know where you're from. That's one of the best parts about um, being live here in the webinars. And y'all just know that we are just really excited for you. Um, I wanted to, couple of things, I'm gonna just turn on my camera real quick. Hey everybody, this is me. I wanted to make sure that I said hi so you guys could see my face. I will probably shut my camera off as we get going. That way I can make sure that all the internet stays good and you guys can hear me okay. But I wanted to at least say hello. Um, and I wish I could see your faces, but genuinely, we're just really excited to get you guys started here um, in your first class here at the university. So I am gonna go ahead and get started in tonight's session. So hold on just a second here. All right. First and foremost, y'all, before we dive into all the things, I wanted to let you know that your experience here at Southern New Hampshire University is so important to us. It is our policy and practice to create an inclusive and accessible learning environment. If there are aspects of instruction or course design that present barriers to accessibility, please notify the Online Accessibility Center, the OAC, at snhu.edu. That's how you can email them. You can also call them at 866-305-9430, or you can visit their Online Accessibility Center website. A lot of students are like, what is this OAC? Why would I want to work with this department? The Online Accessibility Center team makes sure that you get content in a way that works best for you and your success. So it could be um, transcripts of webinars like this. It could be different information that you might need a different way from your classroom environment. There's a lot of things that they can do for you. So if you think this might apply to you or you have questions about it, please reach out directly to the OAC team. They're absolutely incredible. And students tell me every term when they've worked with them, like just how much that they enjoy it. Um, couple of webinar reminders. So you guys do not need a microphone or a camera. You just need to be able to hear me and just double checking. Everybody can hear me, right? Am I coming through loud and clear for y'all? Um, these webinars are offered in both an on-demand format and a live format. So you guys are tonight in the live session. We're not live again until week six, but all the weeks in between, you're gonna have an on-demand pre-recorded webinar that you'll be able to go into our YouTube page and I will share the link again. I put it in the chat a couple of times already, but I'll do it again. And you'll be able to look for the week, the module that you want, and those will load every single Monday, okay? The webinars just usually are about 30 minutes or less and they just kind of go through a little bit of the concepts that week and just making sure that you understand your assignments a little bit more in depth. They do not replace you know, your instructor's feedback and things like that. They're just really kind of an extra support system for you. And sometimes it's nice to just have somebody walk you through something. I don't know about you, but when somebody like shows me where to click and how to find things, it makes it so much easier for me to understand what I need to do. Anybody else like that? Um, the other thing is, is that these webinars and also um, SNHU Connect, which is where the IDS 105 learning community is, and there's tons of clubs and organizations in there. Um, those are all academic spaces. So always be mindful of your conduct in those places. And then as a reminder, these webinars and any of the videos, they are not mandatory, they're not required, there's no grades associated, there's no extra credit points, but you will learn, you'll have a little bit of fun, and it's just a nice way to really have that kind of extra support for you and your success. So who am I? This is me, 
Um, if you were here just a second ago, you got to see my smiling face on the camera. Um, this is my family. I always like for you guys to get to see a little bit about me behind the screen, I guess, because you're going to spend a lot of time with me these next eight weeks. Um, I am an adjunct faculty member for SNHU. I have actually taught for the university for 10 years, but I've been in education for over 20. Um, I'm also an academic partner, and what that means is I get the wonderful opportunity to work with all of your faculty, and they're simply incredible and so excited to work with you these next eight weeks. Um, I love the water. I am a part-time mermaid is what I joke about. I love the beach, the pool, the river, the lake. I do live just outside Pensacola, Florida. So if you've never visited, we have the best beaches ever. Um, our white sand is like nothing else. So if you've ever been to the Gulf Shores, or haven't visited, put us on your list because it's a pretty cool place. Um, I'm an avid road cyclist. Um, I love to read. So if you're a reader, I read across all the genres um, and you can always recommend some good books for me. I always get great recommendations from students on series to pick up. Um, I love coffee. I don't know if any of you guys are pumpkin spice latte lovers, but that came out today. I haven't had one yet. It's too hot here. It was like 102 in Florida. I am not ready for hot coffee yet, but iced is the way to go. And I love spending time with my loved ones. But the biggest thing, y'all, is that I'm a resource for you, okay? The learning community is a resource for you and for your success. So make sure that you dive into it and experience it as much as you can. So a lot of students are like, okay, this is great. Um, I know I have my classroom, but like, what is this IDS 105 learning community? If it, things aren't graded and I don't get like points for it, why should I be a part of it? Well, first and foremost, every assignment that you have or need to turn in your classroom content, all that stuff is in Brightspace. So everybody knows what Brightspace is, right? That's where your actual electronic classroom is. It's that learn.snhu.edu. That's Brightspace. Everything's graded in there. That's where you're turning your assignments. The learning community is in SNHU Connect. So that's outside your classroom. Nothing's graded. However, it's kind of like a social media specifically for SNHU students, okay? In the IDS 105 learning community, it's only students that are taking IDS 105 or have taken IDS 105, and I'm the only staff or faculty member that's in there. So it's a great place to get to know each other. It's a great place to kind of share how you're feeling, like I'm excited about classes, I'm nervous, I've been out for a while, or like, hey, did anybody else have a question on this assignment? Like, it's just a really great place to connect with your peers. Plus, I'll always put in there the webinar recording links, reminders for the live sessions, like dates, times, how to access them. I also put in some focus videos and motivational things, you know, because not every day is going to be sunshiny and glitter. And so I really like to make sure that you guys just remember that like you are 100% worth this journey and you can do it because maybe one week you might not feel so great and the next week you'll feel on top of the world. But we're here to support your success in the learning community and that is why the community is there, okay? But I know students often ask me like, do I need to be a part of it? No, but should I encourage you to be a part of it? Definitely, because you're really going to learn a lot and have that extra support. Um, I get the pleasure of introducing um, one of our amazing associate deans, um, Dr. J, as his students call him. He teaches a section of IDS 105. Couldn't be with us tonight, so I get to introduce him to you. This is Dr. J. He is our associate dean of first year experience and retention strategies. Fun facts about him. He's a Marvel Cinematic Universe fan. Any other Marvel fans in here? Um, he loves to cook and he's a family man. Um, he just had a new baby earlier this year, and he is also a resource for you. James has a wonderful team. That their job is really about making the student experience successful. Plus, he works with the amazing peer mentors, which are students just like y'all, and they actually work one-on-one -on -one with students just to kind of adjust your school schedule, like kind of be a support system. So if you want to know more about that, you can always um, email him or check in with your advisor. Um, Dr. J likes to always share this acronym, PIN. So if you didn't know, or if you do, I'll remind you that the SNHU University mascot is the PINman, right? So Dr. J loves to share the PIN acronym, which is P for persist, E for engage, N for network. We want you to persist and get from your one class through it to the next class and keep going all the way to the finish line of getting your actual degree. Along the way, we want you to engage with each other, your fellow students. We want you to engage with the university resource department, with your instructors, and we want you to be able to network and really understand your field and your curriculum, both inside and outside the classroom. So as you move through your next you know, few years here at the university, remember that PIN acronym and really work to get the most out of your education um, possible. Now, is anybody nervous? Anybody feel a little like 
overwhelmed? Is anybody like, I am so excited, I cannot wait. Maybe you're feeling a little bit of all the emotions, right? Like, it's okay. You are not alone. But the biggest thing I want you to remember, whether this is your first time in college, you've been out for a long time and now you're back again, or maybe you're here because you needed to get a degree you never had to have before, or you're getting something that you always wanted to get a degree in, no matter where and why, I want you to remember that you got this. So say it out loud, I got this. I can do this. I am worth this. Like, I got this. Because I'm telling you, your faculty is going to be saying to you, you got this. You can do this. Yes, you're going to have to make some time in your schedule. Yes, you're going to be pushed outside your comfort zone. You're going to be having conversations about things that maybe you didn't even know existed, or you never thought about that perspective, or you didn't even know what that terminology meant. It's going to happen. And that's okay. That's part of college. It's part of learning. It's part of just making you even more amazing than you even are. So just remember, you got this. Um, and as you work through your next eight weeks, if you ever find yourself stuck, take a minute, take a deep breath, look in the mirror and say, I got this, I can do this. Um, this is a peek at your IDS 105 assignments, okay? I just wanted to run through them really quick so you kind of have an idea of what they are. First and foremost, you'll have six discussion assignments. So the discussion assignments are where you will read, um, your assigned reading, check out any other required resources, and then you'll have a series of questions that you answer. When those are assigned, your initial post, which is you answering the questions, that will that's always due by Thursday, okay? For week one, it's due by Thursday, 11.59 p.m. East Coast time. So pay attention week one to that East Coast time zone, okay? And then you're gonna have to respond to at least two of your classmates. Those are called peer responses by Sunday of that week, 11.59 p.m. Does that make sense? Now, when you do your discussion, students always ask, can I do them earlier than Thursday, that initial post? Can I respond to my classmates earlier than Sunday? Of course you can. Also, students also ask for their very first week, is there a certain time that I need to log into class? No, there isn't. You just need to make sure that you have your weekly assignments done by the assigned due dates for each module, okay? Does that make sense, everybody? So that's the discussions. You have six of them. Then you're going to have two journal assignments. The journal assignments, you're just going to type up in Microsoft Word. You're going to have a series, a couple of questions to answer or something to talk about and give your perspective. You'll submit those. Your faculty will grade them. You have a warm up, which is just kind of a navigational resource, kind of like a little pop quiz. Um, and then you have four project drafts. So y'all, for IDS 105, all term, you are going to be working on building a guidebook, okay? You are going to have basically practice pieces of this guidebook, which those are the project drafts. You have four of those. You are going to, in week two, you're going to be presented with a series of scenarios, and you're going to read them when you get to that module, and you're going to pick which scenario you want to focus on for your guidebook. And as you work on your project drafts, you're going to answer the questions with your chosen scenario in mind for all four of them. And then again, as you put together that guidebook, does that make sense? Does everybody kind of have any questions or understands like, okay, this is what is due for me um, as I get into IDS 105. Sometimes it's just kind of nice to have somebody like break it down a little bit so you understand what everything is. So that's it. So when you see that big project at the end, yes, it has a lot of points associated with it. However, you're gonna be working on it and understanding the concepts that are part of it all term long. Okay, now let's dive into those top 10 tips. Tip number one, prioritize your time. Who here has set aside their SNHU study time? Like you've looked at your calendar and you know when you have time in your day or your week to study. If you haven't done that yet, I encourage you to do that this weekend. You can map out whatever's convenient for you, whether it's an hour a day, a couple hours, 30 minutes here or there, putting things in the nooks and crannies of your day, whatever works best for you. It is so helpful to map out your study time, almost like you're sitting in a classroom environment in person, so the week doesn't get away from you. If you can schedule that time a little bit earlier in the week versus later in the week, it helps you just in case your week falls apart. You've already got some stuff done and it gives you a little bit of flexibility, okay? 
Um, tip number two is to make connections. You guys have already heard me talk about like, hey, say hi in the chat, get to know each other, you know, share where you're from, share your major, like get to know your classmates. That is what makes college so fun, even in the online environment. It's so worth it. Um, get to know your faculty, you know, don't be nervous to reach out to your faculty, ask questions, get to know them. You know, if you haven't been in school for a while and a lot of the concepts in IDS 105 are going to be brand new to you, send an email to your faculty and just let them know that there is nothing wrong with that. Um, get to know the different university departments, like the career team and the help desk and advising and academic support. Like there's so many people that are here pulling for you and your success. If you get stuck or have questions, just know that you can always reach out. We want you to make those connections. Um, your class, IDS 105, does have an electronic textbook, okay? You should have gotten an email to your student email account. This is another top tip, actually two top tips. One, always be checking your university email. It's fine if you want to forward it to your Gmail or Yahoo or whatever, but you always want to be checking it because that is how your faculty, your advisors, the university is going to communicate with you, okay? And you don't want to be like, oh shoot, I did that assignment wrong and the faculty member be like, well, hey, I emailed the class and told you exactly how to do it. So that happens, okay? So always be checking the university email. Also, always be checking your course announcements because your faculty will be putting some extra tips, tricks, helpful hints on how to do your assignments, maybe explaining it a little bit extra or a little bit different than the reading. So just always be checking those two places. But your textbooks, you should have gotten an email that tells you how to order those. Um, you can actually go just directly to the SNHU online bookstore and you can put in your schedule, your course code IDS 105, you're taking it online when you're starting and you add it to your cart and check out just like you would on Amazon. Once you do that, you're gonna actually wanna connect your book to what's called Vital Source. It's a Vital Source bookshelf. Y'all don't let all the big words make you nervous because if you go into your classroom under alerting modules, start here, all of the information is right there where you need it, okay? And if you get stuck, what's even better is your advisor can help you get situated. So if you're not feeling it, you're confused by it, you're struggling, your advisor can get you set up on the right page, okay? And I see some of you said that you got your books already. Awesome. Um, tip number four is a backup plan. Make sure you have a solid backup plan in place. Really, this what this is, y'all, is that things happen. Life happens. We get sick. Our loved ones that we take care of in our household get sick. Um, I've had students that have like broken bones and like couldn't, you know, like they broke their arm, their hand. They couldn't type their projects or papers one term. Uh, cell phones break, laptops break. I had two brand new laptops both die in the same eight weeks. Like how does that happen? But it did. Um, things happen is what I'm saying. Natural disasters, hurricanes, snowstorms, power goes out. You know, all kinds of things. Like life gets yes, Deanna, life gets lifey. I love it. What I want you guys to know is to definitely take the time to write down the phone number of your instructor, the phone number of your advisor, their email addresses, and really just have that backup plan. Like if your internet goes out, um, do you have, can you go like to a friend or family member's house to use their internet or like the local library? That way you don't fall behind in your classes, but always make sure that your instructor, your advisors know, because when we know then we have a plan and we can best support you and your success, okay? Um, tip number five kind of goes to tip number one about prioritizing your time, but knowing what is on your to-do list, both inside and outside the classroom, is going to be crucial. I know y'all have really busy schedules already, and adding school might take a little bit to kind of get a routine, and that's okay. But know like what you need to get done for school assignments, what you need to get done at home, what you need to get done maybe at work, and kind of write it all down or put it in a format that works best for you. You know, I'm somebody that's like a post-it note person. Like I should have stock and post-it notes. I write a to-do list like every day. My husband puts his in like his Google calendar thing. Um, I have friends that have those pretty planners with the pretty pins. You know, I have uh, other people that they put things like on a whiteboard in their kitchen with all their kids and their families like plans. Whatever it is, do what works best for you, okay? Get organized in a way that is realistically going to work for you. Don't go spend a bunch of money. Like do something that's going to be easy and will really help you um, feel like you're managing your time in an effective way. Um, tip number six, communication is key. Y'all, there are so many ways to get a hold of us at the university. You can pick up that good old fashioned phone and call us. We all got phone numbers. Um, there's also email. That tends to be the way that most students like to communicate because it's really easy. You can just email us directly from your class. Um, if you check your My Instructor announcement, a lot of faculty text message. Um, some of them even do like FaceTime or Google Hangout appointments one on one if you're stuck on something or you have questions. Like, just know that we want you to reach out. I don't know about you, but does anybody in here not like to ask for help or not like to ask for assistance? <laughs> 
it happens, right? Like we don't want to bother anybody. We don't people that want people to think that we're less than smart or we don't, you know, like want to, you know, get in anybody's way. But no, this is your college degree and college is expensive, friends, right? So use the resources that are here in part of your tuition. Like do it, reach out, connect. We want you to be successful. Don't be nervous. Trust me, once you reach out, you're going to want to continue doing it. Um, and I love that some of you are like, I'm working on that aspect of my life. Good, good for you. Um, tip number seven is watch these webinars. So we're live tonight. The other weeks, like I said, will be loaded um, for you and your viewing convenience um, by every Monday of the module. So like, for example, you guys all start classes on Monday, bright and early Monday morning. The very first um, IDS 105 Learning Community webinar for week one, module one will be um, at this link that you see right here, the IDS 105 webinar link. I'll put it in the chat when I get done too. That is where you'll be able to see everything um, and you'll be able to pick the week that you want. The focus videos are actually already loaded um, for the term with the exception of module seven. All the other ones are already there. And then just remember Microsoft Teams, just like you did tonight, is how we do the live sessions because your next live session will be week six and it's with our fabulous academic support um, writing team. And we will be talking about your guys' guidebook and just making sure that you feel really um, confident when you submit that final project, that guidebook. Tip number eight is to know your success team. Okay, pop quiz. Who supports you genuinely? Like who's the first person that comes to your mind? Think about that. That is who I want you to surround yourself with, okay? I want you to surround yourself with people that believe in your goals and your dreams. Maybe they're the why behind you going back to school or starting school. Um, you need the people that are going to cheer you on, maybe like review some of your writing assignments from time to time, but also the ones that are going to tell you the hard truths. Like, hey, you should be studying. Like, you need to get yourself together. Like, okay, maybe that project or that paper, the grade wasn't amazing, but like, let's pick ourselves back up and keep going, right? Like, those are the people you want to keep with you. Know your success team, utilize your success team, and thank your success team. Um, tip number nine is to use your feedback. This is really all about your grades and the feedback that faculty will give you from assignment to assignment, week to week on how you're doing. I wanted to point out because students always get confused or they're not sure. Um, you start classes on Monday, right? The 28th. So your very first assignment is that initial post that's due Thursday, 11.59 p.m. East Coast time, right, everybody? And then you have um, your journal and your warm up and those peer responses all by Sunday. OK, yes, you can work on those earlier in the week. Yes, you can do more than two peer responses, but just look at that week Monday through Sunday because then week two will start that next Monday. Right. So your faculty have from that Monday of week two to the Sunday of week two to grade your week one work. Students always get nervous when they don't see grades right away because like the warm ups will grade automatically. But the discussions, journal assignments, project drafts, the guidebook, like we have to physically grade those manually. So they can take some time, okay? Some faculty grade as things come in, some faculty grade throughout the week, some you might not see it till like that Sunday night. So I just wanted you to be aware of that. When you go into your classroom under learning modules, click on grades, you can see your assignments, view the rubric, um, see what your faculty member said about what you did well, what you need to maybe work on. It's just really helpful for your success. You can continue to do well on your assignments. Okay. Um, last tip before I take a minute and show you guys the classroom environment and then I'll answer questions is to use your resources. You guys have heard me say over and over, like connect with us. We want you to reach out with us. Like this is a tiny little snapshot of the resources here at the university and outside of here. Um, you know, here at SNHU, you have your instructors, your advisors, the career center, the academic support team has all the things like the writing team, the tutors, the learning communities, um, peer mentors, we got the library, we got the help desk, and then outside, and that's not even everybody, y'all. There's so many more that I'm missing on the list. Um, and then outside the classroom, you have those personal slash social supports. So like your significant others, your parents, your kids, maybe if you have children, friends, coworkers, extended family, pets count, pets count. Um, and then you have yourself. Y'all, I could talk and talk and talk and talk and talk, but it's you that has to put all these things in place, okay? This is your journey. This is your time. You are 100% capable of doing this degree amazingly, but you are going to have to schedule your time. You're gonna have to make some sacrifices. You're gonna have to get uncomfortable. Um, you're gonna learn some things. You might make some mistakes along the way, but just know at the end of the day that you have your resources here and you have them here for your success. Okay. All right. So hold on just a sec. I'm going to share the actual classroom environment with you.
So this is the an example of an IDS 105 class. Can you guys all see that? OK, I wanted to make sure. Let me know. When you guys get into your classroom environment, remember I said up at the top you have that online student services. So when you all click on that, it's going to pull up all the departments here at the university. So you'll see the help desk, bookstore, advising, academic support, the list goes on. You'll notice things are in blue. Click the blue, gets you to where you want to go. Always remember that. Click the blue, gets where you want to go. As you guys scroll down, I wanted to point out right here is that Office 365 and other software. So you can get Office 365 for free. That has like Word, Excel, PowerPoint. You can get that for free as an SNA2 student. And there's other software that's um, available to you. If you do not have uh, Microsoft Word yet, you will need it for those journal assignments. Um, and to be able to open up like your project drafts and your guidebook template. So if you don't have it, this is how you can get it. Click on it, follow the prompts, follow the instructions and get it downloaded for free. If you have questions, you get stuck, you're not sure how to do it, um, reach out to your advisor or the SNHU help desk and we'll get you all set, okay? Here is SNHU Connect. When you click on SNHU Connect, it'll give you, um, take you to the Pulse login page, which is basically credentials for you to log into the community. This is where clubs, organizations, the IDS 105 learning community is, um, and so much more. A lot of clubs and organizations that students like, there is parent groups, military groups, hobby groups, like the Psychology Club, the Paranormal, Paranormal Club, Nerds Unite, like those are some big ones um, that students always love. There's also like the Creative Writing Club, there's Business Accounting, I mean, the list goes on. Has anybody joined any clubs yet or kind of looked up any of the SD, the SNH2 Connect stuff. There's just so much cool stuff out there. So just know to explore that when you have time. I know there's always a lot in the beginning, but definitely get a, be a part of it. At least find the IDS 105 community. That'll be a great place um, to get started. So I wanted to show you that there's all of these different departments here right underneath online student services. The other thing I wanted to show you is when you click on course menu, announcements is how you can get to your course announcements quickly. Learning modules will pull up all the weeks for your course. Discussions is just kind of a quick link access to the discussion assignments. You'll see all of them. Um, assignments are here and then grades. This is where you can click to see if your assignments have been graded and review the rubric, okay? Let's click on learning modules because I wanna show you a couple of things really fast here. First and foremost, I wanna show you this start here area. When you click on start here, you will see your syllabus for your class. You will see a welcome video. You'll see kind of an overview about the commons, our general education program here at SNHU. You'll see an overview of your course map. Here is that vital source information. So once you've purchased your um, course materials for your IDS 105 class, this is we'll go, this has like helpful videos and quick little guides to get you all set up on your vital source bookshelf, okay? Remember, it's under learning modules, start here. Um, also with this class, you can use what's called video note for your assignment. So submitting things by video, which is really kind of cool. Um, I'm super excited to see this is new um, to SNHU for this next term. And so I'm super excited to see how students utilize this um, new technology. This would be kind of kind of cool, kind of fun. Um, so if video is your jam, um, there's all kinds of information on how to use it and how you can do your some, of your some of your assignments. You cannot do all of your assignments like that, so pay attention because there's certain ones that you can and certain one that you, ones that you can't, but it's a pretty exciting um, tool to use. So I wanted to point out underneath the start here. The other thing I wanted to point out is to get to your modules. Module one is week one, module two is week two, all the way through week eight, okay? So for the very first week, you're focusing on everything module one. The second week, everything module two. OK, sometimes students get confused and they're like, do I have to do everything at once? No, just focus on that week. Um, when you click on the module, you want to make sure that you click on the actual introduction. So please know that I will go through this stuff way more in depth next week in your module one webinar. Like I will literally walk you through the discussion where the warm up is and your journal assignment a little bit more in depth. I just kind of want to show you tonight like where to click and how to find things. Um, the biggest thing is when you click on that module, you always want to make sure you look over the objectives and the overview. There's a lot of reading, scrolling, and clicking, okay? So always make sure you, can, you scroll all the way down to these little arrows after you review everything. And as you arrow over, it'll bring you through um, the content. Always make sure that you guys are reading what's in here in your module. It's going to give you a lot of the terminology. It's going to give you a great start before you actually read the textbook. So make sure you guys are covering this material, especially as you start in week one, because a lot of these basic concepts are going to carry you through the term. Okay. Um, keep clicking over. What I wanted to point out is you will always see these required resources in every module. 
it is super important for you guys to make sure that you always look at them. It'll tell you what chapters you're reading in your textbook and any like specific themes or areas to pay attention to. But also they'll all almost always be some helpful like different websites to visit or videos to watch or some extra links to like journal articles that'll really just help you drive the concepts, the terminology and the point home, okay? Now for many of you, a lot of the topics covered in IDS 105 are gonna be brand new. You might not even know what some of the words mean and that's okay because you're not alone. That's why you're here, right, to learn. So the biggest thing is, is as you head into IDS 105, I just want you to remember to be like open-minded. There might be some topics that you're not comfortable with. It's okay to be uncomfortable. It's how we grow, it's how we expand, but you can always reach out to your instructor and you can ask questions. But the cool thing is you're gonna learn a whole lot about yourself and a whole lot about just society as a whole, which is really pretty cool. So remember to always click through, get the click on the blue, get to where you wanna go. And then there always will be some additional support stuff that's optional. A lot of these little videos can really help drive some things home in a different way. So I always like to tell students to check these videos out um, because it can just really be helpful. There's also some helpful like SNA2 navigational stuff in here too. Okay, so that is just an example of the required resources, like how to find the module. Like you'll notice here, like here's your very first week discussion. I will spend way more time on this next week in your module one webinar, but just so you know what you're doing next week, you're basically introducing yourself to the class, a little bit about you, like where you're from, what motivates you, your major. Um, you're gonna start talking about your social identities. You're gonna start talking about like, can you show up every day as like your authentic self? And if, if you can, how does that work? If you can't, like why? And then like what motivates you? What drives you? Those are just some of the questions you're gonna be answering next week. When you guys go to post, you click on start a new thread and you type in your little introduction line and you can type right in here. Okay, I just wanted to show you that really quick. Again, next week I go over it way more in depth, but I wanted to make sure that I showed you the discussion because a lot of students are nervous about like, where do I click and where, where do I go and what do I do, Miss Melanie? So I wanted to make sure I showed you that. And then you'll notice your journal assignment will pop up. You always wanna click on guidelines and rubric. Again, I'll go over this way more in depth next week, but you'll have the overview, the directions of the questions you're answering and what to submit, okay? So all of that stuff is always laid out for you really pretty well. Um, so always just make sure that you're double checking and scrolling through the information um, on anything that you might need to do. So hold on one more second. I am going to stop sharing this so I can get to the chat. All right, okay. Get to the chat in here, folks. So questions, what are your questions? Is that helpful? Did that helpful? How was that helpful for you guys to kind of see like where to click, what to find, what to do, um, and just really recognizing that y'all are not alone. Um, it's great that you guys are starting to you know read the books and read the content. And I'm telling you, like you're not going to be alone in a lot of this terminology or concepts being new to you. Okay, so everybody is kind of starting at the very same point. So don't think that you need to come in there and be an expert on all the things. Okay. That is why um, you want to always make sure to ask questions, you know, as you're going through things and as you're learning through things, that's going to be okay. All right. I will pop in the chat the webinar link. This is where you'll find the webinars. It's that little hyperlink that's in here every single week. Um, tonight, when I get done with this one, I will upload it and it'll be uploaded at this link within 24 hours. So if you want to go back and you want to watch it again, um, that's totally fine. You can watch it as many times as you want to, but what other questions? I'm trying to catch the chat, see if I missed anything. Um, let's see, uh, you guys wanted the weekly videos with the links. I got that in there. Um, you guys were all talking about, you didn't know a lot of the terminology. That's okay. Like we're going to work through that stuff. You guys know when like things are due, how to access things. You know that you can get started on Monday. There's not a specific date, a specific time. Um, okay, let's see. I'm trying to make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay, well, you guys are really quiet. <laughs> um, I'm gonna flip my camera back on. You guys are so quiet. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed tonight. It was super exciting to be able to meet all of you.
um, in this capacity. And just know that the university is really excited to have you. We're thrilled for you to start here and start your journey. If you have questions, don't hesitate to let your instructor, your advisors know. But y'all have a great night and a great weekend. And you know what? You're going to be amazing on Monday. Look for that um, weekly webinar. And if you get stuck or you have questions, like do not hesitate to reach out, okay? All right, everybody. Good night.